So in, within this tubing, there is this piece here that is made of a different rubber. It's more pliable. That's the part that actually goes into the pump. I'm gonna put that down. Follow that tube up. This is the piece that you're actually going to put on that valve that you already put on. So there's one cord, two more to go. This one here is going to be attached to the side of the scope. It has a perfect little port. Can you get this? It has a perfect little, um, two little ports that are made just for this. So I'm just going to push that into place. Make sure it's tight enough. And this one here, the last one is for the CO2 tank. Now there's been a, a lot of issues with that as I can see that um, somebody has really made a point to label your um, insufflator pump, do not remove silver connector. This piece right here, this is the silver connector. It will screw right off, so Let's be very careful. There it is. I lost you. Sorry. Be careful with this. Do not even take it off of this pump. These are getting thrown away and we're getting emergency calls to, um, to replace them. So as you can see, do not remove sil silver connector. It's written on here three times. <laughs> this piece screws right into it. And that is the CO2 um, insufflator. So now, there, the main power switch is right up here at the top. everything has come on and is firing. You can, um, the top of this cart has this pull out keyboard so you can type your patient's information in if you want it to print on the pictures, if you're printing pictures. If you don't do that or you forget to do that, you can always use the patient labels and put on the pictures when you're done. Um, The, the surgeon may already know, but if they don't, because maybe they're not using this a lot either, you're gonna want to come over here and there is a, um, a little acronym for the lamp here and it's on standby. You're gonna wanna turn it on to on. And when you turn it to on, your scope will light up and it should be ready to go. White balance. White balance. So to do the white balance on the scope, you are going to um, turn the light on, put the scope against something that is white, and then you will hit right here at the top. Can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. It says white balance. You're going to hit that button and hold it down and it makes a little beat when it's done and that means that the white balance is complete and that just basically is um, to make sure that all the colors that you see are correct and then it should be ready to go you can lube it up good luck <laughs>